Hi, this is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. We are going to be making this magic star, which is a star and it's also a ring. Hola, los saluda Leila Torres. Vamos a hacer esta estrella que se convierte también en anillo. We can make it with a colorful paper, like this, or we can make it with recycled paper, like this. First, I will demonstrate this, and then at the end, I will give tips on how to make the one with recycled paper. For this one, we need to create eight units just like this. We can use a piece of paper about three and a half by three and a half inches or nine and a half by nine and a half centimeters. In this case, it's the same color on both sides. Letter paper or photocopy paper is just perfect for this star. So we are going to fold in a half. We're going to open and we're going to bring this edge to align with the center. And this edge to align with the center as well. Now we are going to close from bottom to top. And we are going to bring the right edge over to align with the top edge. We want to make this shape parallelogram. We open again, now we pick it up in the air, and we are going to fold this in, push this in. We're actually reversing this fold from a valley fold into a mountain fold. And reversing this from mountain into valley. So this is our unit. We need to make seven more identical units. So we can keep the pieces uh, in two rows and organize the way we're going to put them together. And this way we can alternate colors. So I am going to pick the first one. We need to orient them so that we have these two flaps on the right and the point on the left. We take the next piece rotate it a little bit and then this edge, the left edge, is going to match the inside of the first unit. Notice that this corner will align with this corner and that will be the center of the piece so we are going to focus our attention on that center. Once we have it there, we are going to just wrap these two little flaps over the edge. We take our next piece. Notice how the center is nice and neat. Rotate at this moment and wrap the flaps over.
the last piece is always the most difficult so we are going to insert it wrap the little flaps around and then we are going to bring this one in the back to fit in between those two flaps. So we just, with the left hand, we push back and with the right hand, we push forward. It is possible that some of these come undone, so we just fix them. Here we have something to fix as well. And then we wrap the last one over. Now it's a packet there. Notice the center. To open it into a ring, put our fingers at the center here the central area, don't pull for, from the flaps, just at the center and softly start pulling it apart. And we have the start that becomes a ring. For a kaleidoscopic effect, we can use recycled paper. In this case, I have four pieces of the same item. And we are going to be cutting a little piece of a square from here and from here. We just have to make sure that we cut the four squares exactly at the same place. So I have made myself this square template from cardboard. So here we have the four pieces that we cut from this side and four that we cut from this side. And this now we can discard. So we have to orient these pieces of paper in the same manner and fold them the same as we did this. When we open and close, we have the kaleidoscopic effect. Look for other projects like this in our YouTube channel. Thank you. This is Leila Torres.